na 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 Batman. I mean, it's right there in the theme. Na 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 Batman. He's obviously a bad news lover. This is going to piss off a lot of people, but when I think about Batman being a bad news lover, I just think about Jessica Rabbit. I don't know if that's too old a reference for some of you, but there's this famous line that she says, you know, where she's a suspect in the murder and uh, she looks at him and she says, I paraphrase, you can't really blame me. I'm just drawn bad. Jessica Rabbit was an icon for our times. I was probably too young for that movie when I watched it, but I just remember her so vividly and I loved her. So I'm not really dissing Batman when I say that he reminds me of Jessica Rabbit, but I'll explain what I mean by pointing out that when you look at the Batman comics, you know, he is very clearly an example of a particular kind of masculinity, you know, like he has the lantern jaw, the sharp nose, he speaks in this gravelly voice, he's very strong, and he's rich and powerful in his, you know, everyday normal life. He's basically drawn bad for women and for men. I don't discriminate. He's also being played by a succession of men who are very good looking and have a great deal of sexual charisma, which is obviously a recurring theme in this series. It doesn't matter if you thought that that particular adaptation of Batman was terrible or if that particular actor was terrible as Batman, you have to admit, even at its most ridiculous, that's a hot dude. I mean, the latest iteration has Robert Pattinson. Come on, DC clearly knows what it's doing. In fact, it's kind of funny. You have Christian Bale who played Laurie, who is a bad news lover, and you have Robert Pattinson who played Edward Cullen, who's a bad news lover. And I'm pretty sure one of these men is going to end up playing James Bond sooner or later as well. But anyway, coming back to Batman, what makes him such a bad news lover? Well, number one, he joins the ranks of all the bad news lovers who need a little bit of therapy. A little bit. Obviously, his origin stories are traumatic, but there is no other superhero with a origin story that is continually traumatic to that person at the level that it is for Batman. It's like a wound that never heals and he just picks at it over and over and over again. And it's sort of reinforced by the movie adaptations because there hasn't been a single adaptation that hasn't gone back to the origin story and shown you that singular moment where his parents get murdered. <gasps> Spoiler. But Batman isn't just emotionally damaged, he's also emotionally distant. I mean, this is a man who has a long, long, long list of women that he's dated. That's part of his thing, you know, like he doesn't feel like he deserves a family or that he can commit to one. So he just sort of takes refuge in the fact that he's a playboy and he's a billionaire. So of course, you know, he just dates a succession of really beautiful women. But let's be honest, Batman is a bit of a man whore. It's not just that he dates a succession of beautiful women who are genuinely accomplished, actually. Like, he doesn't get a lot of, like, trophy bimbos, you know? But he also generates a lot of interest from his peers, you know, whether it's Wonder Woman or uh, a couple of the others, or he also gets a lot of attention from his antagonists. In fact, his longest relationship is with Selena Kyle, who's Catwoman. But in addition to Selena, who is my favorite of all the Batman girlfriends, but in addition to Selena, he also has all these relationships with the women whom he's, you know, hunting down for justice. And none of them work out. Well, some of them don't work out because, you know, they're bad people. But even with the good people, it never works out because he's so emotionally unavailable and he just sabotages himself all the time. 
He's also physically distant. I mean, you never know where you can find him. There's no such thing as spending a quiet evening at home with him because he's always on a rooftop somewhere patrolling the streets. But even if you were to marry Bruce Wayne, his alter ego or his actual identity, as a matter of fact, think about it. He's a billionaire. In this day and age, do you really want to date a billionaire? When they set up that guillotine, I bet he can turn into a bat and fly away, but what happens to you? Off with your head, that's what. Plus, billionaires are bad news. Haven't you seen the memes? He could use his billions to change society, but what he actually does is funnel all that money into becoming the Kate Crusader. Do you really want to be a part of that? I have so much faith in you that you won't. And also, think about it, like he's a billionaire, so he has to live in this giant mansion, right? The Wayne Mansion. But he clearly can't get help because what if they find out who he is? So it's literally just Alfred and him, and sometimes Robin, maybe you, in this giant house. And everybody wants a giant house until people have to live in a giant house, which is when you realize giant houses require dusting. And especially Wayne Mansion, like have you seen the interiors of that place? It's just basically filled to the brim with all kinds of knickknacks. I suppose he gets like a cleaning service in from time to time, but still, Alfred is like a million years old. You can't rely on him to do like half the things that need to be done around the house. You're just signing up to be his maid. But even if that got solved, think about who he is. The man has enemies everywhere. He has enemies as Batman and they're super annoying and in your face and super elaborate in how they're trying to kill you. But as Bruce Wayne, he's a target of another kind. There's literally no peace anywhere with Batman. You'll literally be in a position where either he's trying to push you away or his enemies are trying to put a hit on you. Who wants that life? I think Batman really taps into the idea of crusaders being romantic, you know, like people who are devoted to the idea of justice and the idea of good over evil. And that is romantic until you have to actually live with a person who has principles to that extent. I mean, with Batman, it's not even a principle stand, it's basically a pathology. There is no way that he can be Batman and be good at what he does because Batman is good at what he does, right? And there's no way that he can be all that unless he basically devotes all his spare time to being Batman. And the older he gets, you know the worse he's gonna get. Have you ever met a man? Their boyhood interests just deepen as they get older until it's full-fledged mania. He's gonna be out there fighting literal bats by the end. Bats in the belfry. So now you have a man who is emotionally unavailable, who disappears for long periods of time, has a borderline inappropriate relationship with a very young boy, whom, let's be clear, he is basically leading into a life of crime. I mean, Batman is working for good, but everything he does is basically illegal. It's just that Gotham is so screwed up that it all sort of evens out in the end. But nothing that he's doing is actually legal, and let's be clear about that. So to recap, he's emotionally unavailable, he's physically distant, he is committing crimes in the name of justice, so he's basically a vigilante, he has a long list of enemies who want to kill him or want to have sex with him and then kill him. He has friends who are also weird and also want to have sex with him. He has no idea what to do with his money and he refuses to change. But the big attraction of Batman is the idea that you might be able to heal him. You can take the pain away which is an idea in literature that is sold over and over and over again to women. And newsflash, you can't. The only person that can ultimately heal Batman is Batman. And good luck to you trying to convince him to use a few of his billions on that little project. 
Batman is possibly the epitome of a bad news lover. For more videos, please hit the subscribe button.